Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about the Elder Scrolls Online Necrom. This is a sweet update that just came out for the Elder Scrolls, and I want to kind of take you through some of the major new additions to the game. So they have actually unlocked a new class, Master the Secrets and Forbidden Knowledge of the Apocrypha. The Arcanist is a powerful new class capable of destructive, restorative, or defensive magic by channeling arcane energies, ancient runes, and the lost domes of power. So you can actually see there are not just new classes, but also new worlds. You can also discover new worlds with exploring the Tavani Peninsula and home to towering mushrooms, jagged spires, and the city of Necrom itself. You can behold the forbidden books of the Endless Library as well with mind wonders like the Hermaeus Mora's Daedric Realm of Apocrypha. And before we get too far in today's video, I do want to say this video is sponsored by Bethesda. And you can also see more when it comes to uncovering the lost secrets. Hermaeus Mora holds knowledge too dangerous for mortals or danger to even comprehend. Now hidden yet turbulent powers threaten the Prince of Fate's Realm, and if his secret is uncovered, it could unravel all of reality. There's new mysteries, challenges, and of course rewards as well. So new companions and so much more. There's a new trial, Sanity's Edge. So you can actually gear up for a new 12 player trial, Sanity's Edge, and venture within the tormented mind of the Mage's Guild recruit, saving them from a fate worse than death. You can gather your party and work together to overcome the challenging boss mechanics and earn trial specific rewards and claim your place atop the leaderboards. I've always been a big fan of leaderboards in about any game. New World Event, the Bastion Nimic. This is another New World Event going on in the Necrom update. You can gather your allies, open a portal to Oblivion, and defend Hermaeus Mora's besieged citadel within Apocrypha. Repulse invading Daedric forces, including three challenging bosses that you and your party must overcome in order to protect the Lord of Knowledge's most dangerous secrets. And of course, like I said before, there are new rewards. So Forbidden Boons of Hermaeus Mora, uncover the secrets of the Prince of Knowledge and earn unique new item sets, collectibles, achievements, and an all new Tales of Tribute deck found only within the Necrom chapter. So with this update, a lot of people are asking, is it worth it to buy the Necrom edition or expansion? And I would have to say it definitely is. If you have played the Outer Scrolls online before, or if you're looking to get involved, grab the Necrom chapter. It is going to be a huge bonus and, and it will add a bunch of additional features that will really help enhance the experience. Update 39, by the way, just came out. It's a preview of base game improvements and additions on july 11th it came out as a blog post on their website talking about general improvements to the quest and content improvements for new players navigator quest pins new endeavor activity types as well as so much more like pvp additions being pvp death notifications new pvp rewards item management improvements and home editor improvements as well so a lot of cool stuff guys and i will say this is one of those games that continues to improve itself over and over every single month on so if you actually go to outerscrollsonline.com you can actually see they just recently in the news have an update 39 preview base game improvements and additions this is update 39 july 11th 2023 and it just showcases the game is continuing to build on itself year after year and month after month during ESO's global reveal back in January, we announced that we were taking the time during this development cycle to focus on polishing in-game systems and addressing some of the community's long-standing requests. We are happy to announce the first rounds of these changes, in addition to a host of various bug fixes, will be arriving August 21st on PC, Mac, and September 5th for Xbox, PlayStation consoles in the Update 39 base game patch. As a base game update, Update 39 is free for all existing ESO players with no additional purchase required. So these are really, really important that people must see to understand that ESO is trending in the right direction. We're continuing to see improvements with Elder Scrolls Online and the Necrom update. So this is, like I said, base game improvements, so quests and content and improvements for those new players, navigator quest pins, new endeavor activity types, and then we also have a lot of item management improvements. Uh, I do want to jump into the PvP edition, so they have a PvP death notifications kind of system that is kind of being featured here, as well as new PvP rewards, which is huge for the game. A lot of you guys following this channel are PvP players like myself. If you know much about ESO, it's very, very good when it comes to PvP, and now there are additional PvP rewards that are new. I expect a lot of people to jump in on that. 
treasure scamp drop boost as well as well as the uh, home editor improvement so preview crown furnishings inventory furnishing placement all of that is coming with update 39 I also want to say quickly, the Necrom chapter review roundup is also available on the site. It talks a little bit about what everybody is saying about the Necrom chapter and this update and why you as a new player or you as an existing player may want to check it out. The Outer Scrolls Online Necrom and Update 38 is now live on all platforms as of June 20th, 2023. So definitely take a look, like I said. I will continue to talk about here on this channel, The Elder Scrolls Online. So if you want to learn more, definitely like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I'll have links down in the description if you want to get involved with The Elder Scrolls.